Hello everyone. As you may have guessed, uh, we're going to be doing uh, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Now I'm going to just, you know, start a game, dive right in. Um, I'm going to uh, try and edit out some of the more boring waiting parts. Uh, if I forget, I forget, but otherwise. So we'll start out with a new game. Now, uh, I could go with a random map or I could go with... Um, you know, one of these here um, pre-built maps. I'm going to go with a random one. And uh, I'm going to go with a medium difficulty overall. And uh, it we'll have uh, buildings and vehicles for energy management. And uh, we'll disable the day-night cycle. Now, the reason I'm doing that is um, uh, you can't see anything at night. And uh, it'd be no fun for the... Um, for those of you that actually tune in we'll enable seasons um, we'll have normal building fires um, and we'll enable the pollution we'll start in 1960 and uh, yeah okay so that's that's that and uh, we'll start with a population I think well I could start with a population. Um, well, we'll do this. Initial buildings, don't build anything. That would be no uh, population. Okay, so we'll take... Um, you know what? I think we'll take the defaults there. Um, now, the question is, do I want to start with a completely blank slate, or do I want to have some towns? Um, let's start with a completely blank slate, and now we wait for it to uh, load the game. Now, I've, um, I've played a few uh, games with this along the way. This is still um, early access. Uh, and I'm also playing it on Linux under uh, Steam Play or Proton or whatever they call it. So uh, there might be some instability from either or both of those uh, uh, situations. However, uh, the game has been pretty stable when I've been uh, playing it. Um, okay, so we'll start out. I'll pause it. I want to uh, check something here. Um... Game settings, no. General settings, auto save. I'm going to make that every 10 minutes. Just in case uh, the game crashes, then we'll lose less stuff, right? Now, to get started, I want to bring up the mini map and I want to look for a resource, right? Uh, one that I can exploit easily. So that's basically your coal, maybe iron uh, or oil, coal or oil, really. Um, uranium is expensive to get operational. So coal, uh, let's make this bigger. Okay, so coal, um, yeah, what about oil? We got oil all over the place, right. Uh, so what I want is uh, uh, a resource deposit that's relatively close to the Soviet bloc. And, uh, you know, if I can do that, then uh, uh, exploitation is relatively easy. Um, now, I wish those deposits would stay shown when you... Uh, uh, okay, I think possibly either down at the bottom to the right of center or here so let's go look over here and let's uh, turn that so we know which way we're facing okay now if i take that out of the way and i go in here now uh it was coal i was no i wanted uh go back um gravel coal iron 
iron mine, coal mine. Aha, yeah, this is uh, this is exactly the the place to do it. Okay, now if we go up here, is that the closest? Um, oh, that's a long way off. Which way are we going? Oh, we're going the wrong way. Um, right. So I want to point that that way. Oh, I see. Right. Now, up here is NATO, which means over here should be our uh, Soviet people. Yes, it is. Good. So what I'm going to do is uh, build a uh, coal mining town thingy. Um, right, I want it back about here. Okay, uh, close that. Now, um, I am going to, well, first of all, I'm going to show the wireframe, zoom in a bit, and uh, grab the coal mine again, and see where the that one is uh-huh ah this one looks like it'll probably be the better spot okay yeah okay oh come on there should be a modifier for zoom um okay i want to zoom in now let's try that again uh going down here yeah about here okay so if i just plop that down um right now, now that's going to have to be built but i'm also going to need uh, apparently our town is going to be called uh, what is that gorzin um you know what i'm going to do i'm going to change that to whoops rename colville yeah uh, okay, so now I'm going to need to also uh, process that and all of that jazz, but uh, what I need, uh, oil, not oil, um, gravel, coal, iron. Okay, so I'm going to put a large aggregate storage uh, to the side of the coal mine, uh, but really modifiers aren't oh there it is okay but i'm going to do it without uh auto building a conveyor because i'm going to put a conveyor engine in there now i need a processing plant uh which uh okay we'll need to go this way And again, I will put a conveyor engine thing in there. So we'll do that. And I'm going to also need a aggregate storage after that. I'm using the aggregate storages as buffers, uh, in case you're wondering. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm holding down right control to... Uh, block the uh, the uh, what you call it there the uh, auto connections now uh, now where are we right I need to I'm gonna also need a power plant uh, and that will be a coal powered plant which I'll be able to uh, 
chuck in, I don't know, say, if I turn it around this way, say I could chuck it, no, if I point it this way, yeah, I think that'll work better. Okay, I'm trying to get fine, uh, ah, okay, well, that will do, uh, and if I put it there, yeah, okay, now, um, I'll turn off the wireframe now. Uh, okay, so over here, we got a coal mine. Now we're going to need workers, obviously. Um, now, uh, I'm going to need roads, uh, first of all. Whoops, roads. Now, I'm going to put the uh, these uh, roads in here because they give us the longest distance for uh, workers to uh, travel on by foot. Um, so, uh, well, if I show the wireframe here, um, you know what? I'm going to put a road through like this and then definitely need a road coming in from there and there, and like that, right? And I'll need a road across here. And I need to connect that up. Now this one, uh, chuck a road across here, and like that. That will get us connections. Now, uh, what I want to do uh, is uh, build the housing department, department, development, uh, say over here, right? Uh, I'm going to actually uh, do some leveling here. Uh, because the, uh, the development here will work a lot better if the ground is level. It was pretty level where I was building the, the, the coal industrial operation, but um, but that that was uh, still uh, uh, that was an autosave, but that was still potentially problematic. Um, okay, but we did get pretty lucky with the uh, initial uh, setup there. Uh, with uh, with everything, right? Uh, okay, so I'm going to level a little bit more here. Now this is uh, running through our rubles here, but that's not a particularly big problem. Now I'm going to grab this, and we'll uh, get the road down into there. Now, going to get our main road across, right? Now, I'm going to need quite a few workers. Uh, so I'm going to put, this is going to cost a pretty penny to build. And you'll, uh, you'll see that once I uh, de-pause everything. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to grab... Um, Residential buildings. I like this uh, brick flats here, uh, which hold 162 workers and 94% quality. I kind of like them. So I'm going to I'm going to build a stack of them. Um, one, two, three, Four, uh, 
Uh, and then another one, two, three, four. Now I think I'm going to need another stack of them because the coal mine is going to use like 200 odd uh, workers per shift. And uh, uh, this isn't going to be quite enough to cover that and the other services. So I'm going to, I'm going to go over here and okay. One, two, and another one, two. And of course, now I'm going to put a road uh, right. If I put it like this and like this, connect these. Yep. Okay, now, what else do I need? I need stuff for citizens. Um, okay. So, construction. Uh, equipment for citizens. So, I'm going to need a... Uh, well, first of all, I'm definitely going to need a fire station, which I'm going to chuck in right here. Okay. Um, right. And I'm going to need, I think I'm going to need a grocery store, which I will chuck in right here. Uh, like that. Yep. Now, Um, I'm going to chuck in some, uh, entertainment type stuff as well. Um, well, I can chuck that in there. That will probably be good. Um, I could chuck in a small store as well, which, uh, can stick in there. Yep. Do I want to put a pub? Maybe. Um, uh, what I'm definitely going to need though, is go back here. Education related. Yep. Uh, I'm going to need a couple of kindergartens, which, uh, I'll stick... Uh, one here and uh, one here. I'm going to need a school, which I think I can get, get away with chucking in over here. Um, now, is there anything else that I absolutely need in there? Um, maybe not. Okay. Um, I'm also going to need, under roads... I'm going to need a gas station, which can go in right about here. Yeah, because I'm going to need gas for the uh, fire trucks, right? And then, um, now, uh, where am I? Okay, and then I'm going to need to run some sort of export over to here right but there's one more bit I need before everything gets started over here and that is electrical infrastructure right uh, so if I uh, come in here and uh, come on up here uh, what I'm gonna need obviously is uh, well I'll need a substation that I can chuck in somewhere. Um, well, that covers a lot if I chuck it right in the middle. And I can chuck it right in the middle. 
Nah. No, I'm not going to put it there. Uh, right. Get that back. Um, power substation. I'm going to put one in over here. And I'm going to put one in. Can I fit it over here? Nope. But I can fit it here. Yep. And then I'm also going to chuck one in here, right? Good. Now, I need to get um, power going. So I'm going to also, I need to connect it. So I'm going to need, um, I'm going to need a, a um, I'm going to need high voltage. That's what I'm going to need. Uh, right. So... Uh, high voltage and I'm gonna need a uh, switch which I'm going to put here like this yeah okay and then a transformer which will go here yep and then we can go on to the medium voltage stuff, right? Uh, which is here, and that's going to be a medium voltage switch will go in here. And here. And here. Right? Uh, and then we'll uh, chuck in some medium voltage wiring. that building in the way okay that should be that and this can do that okay and this can connect onto one of these yeah and now we need some high voltage wiring uh, which uh, go here and here really building in the way okay that should be enough to get things uh started um okay let's uh, turn off the wireframe now this is going to look a little bit crazy when things get uh, get started. So let's uh, start things up and look at our rubles going down as everything gets built. So yeah, the idea here is to get everything built and then, uh, then we go from, uh, from that, and I'll pause it again, and uh, from there, it'll be a question of uh, of uh, getting uh, some sort of export operation going. Uh, but what I want to check on here is how far can we Okay, I'm going to need transport uh, for, because uh, from, from here, I, yeah, uh, I'm going to need transportation uh, for these guys. Um, okay, that's just about done, and I'm going to need to chuck in the uh, uh, conveyor engines as well. And this guy is almost making some sort of progress. Let's up the tempo here. Get everything through the building process. Come on. Finish building. Uh, 
And there we go. Okay. Right. Now, uh, what I'm going to need is in here. Uh, conveyors, conveyor engine. Now, Uh, okay, I need to get these things here to, uh, ah, uh, that one will go, good, um, that one will go, yeah, and this one, I need it to, do like this. Okay, that will go like that. And uh, this one goes like, ah, uh, that's going to be a right pain, isn't it? Well, let's see if I chuck it there, can I get this? overlaps with existing construction. Ah! Well, if I take that out, now if I do it, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Now, I can try getting the uh, power line uh, reconnected. I think that worked. Yeah, it did. Uh, okay, so that will do that. Good. Now, if we go back over here, onto here, I want a bus platform or a bus stop. Uh, what's a bus stop that, uh, that size? Bus platform, yeah. Bus stop. Okay, I'll put a bus stop here, right? And I should be able to chuck one of them in, say, here yeah that might work so if I put that there go pause now you can get there okay and uh, you can get almost everywhere. Okay, right. Now, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to add a footpath or two. So if we add a footpath like this, no. Can we uh, get a footpath through here? Yeah. So if we do a footpath like this, and like this, uh, I should be able to get a footpath through there. Yeah. And probably through here. Yeah. Uh, well, let's do this. So what this will do is uh, get... Uh, more of the uh, these uh, residences uh, in uh, in range of things. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, yeah, everything else looks like it's okay there. Okay, are you? Yeah, those are buildings. So we'll do this. Yeah. 
Now you, some workers can get there. You, no workers can get there. Right. Okay. Pause that. So we'll go in here. I need a road vehicle depot. Which I think I can just... That's a road vehicles depot. Yep. I think I can chuck one of those and chuck it in here. Yep. Okay. Go. Okay. That's a road vehicles depot. Now I can, I need to buy with rubles. I need buses. Okay. Now the uh this guy is 40 passengers at 85 60 passengers at 65 52 passengers at 65 52 passengers at 80. All right, 75. Hmm. Let's buy four of those. Okay. Oh, and let's go in here to the fire station. We'll buy... That does... Um, speed level 4, speed level 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. Okay, good. We have the fire trucks there. Right now, I need to. We need to go in here and uh, create a new line. And this is going to be uh, coal workers. Okay. Add a station. New stop here and here. Okay. Uh, save it. Okay. Now, uh, okay, one, two, three. Four. Okay. And then we'll launch them all. Good. Um, I built a gas station, right? I built a gas station. Yep. Okay. Now, what I'm going to need to do is go in here and purchase some stuff manually. And I'm going to purchase, I'm going to purchase 50 tons of coal, purchase it. So that will allow the coal power plant to start operating, or at least it should. And then all of this should start up uh, once the, uh, once everything starts getting workers right okay we've got people going there we've got people coming here we've got buses going uh okay now here is the important one uh let's up the tempo and see what happens oh yeah let's also check in on here uh we're picking up uh Uh, we're picking up uh, workers there. Okay. Um, looks like I'm going to probably need more. Um, uh, more workers. Uh, more buses. Uh, 
but uh, we are in fact uh, we are producing coal uh, okay so we got coal coming in here we got coal going in here are we we are processing coal and we're uh, coming over here and we are filling up our input there okay we have power generation um right so far so good well uh so that gets our uh, initial town operational we are of course uh spending uh rubles like they're uh, uh you know going to go away anytime soon uh so then the next thing i need to do i guess is uh get some uh, exports going for coal uh, now the reason i picked this location for coal is because the quality of the source is 72 percent um, and that means that uh, we're going to easily overwhelm our uh, processing capacity for coal and that's good uh, is what it means is I've got enough room over here I could put another coal processing facility and uh, and that would uh, or I could put another one over here and then uh, you know send send uh, coal out to uh, export that way uh, anyway that's actually uh, well I guess uh, that will be I'm gonna down tempo that uh, so that's our initial uh, setup here. Uh, we've got our uh, Colville operation going here. Uh, so what I'm going to need to do is uh, get exports online uh, next time around. Now, uh, just before I go, I'm going to take a look. And it looks like we're going to want to be doing it by rail. Yeah, it looks like we're going to want to do it by rail. And that means uh, it's going to be quite an adventure to set it up uh, next time around. Anyway, uh, we're, we've used up, uh, you know, uh, five-eighths of our uh, rubles. And uh, we still have some dollars, but they're not all that useful at the moment. So uh, anyway... Uh, we've got our uh, entire operation is going here. At some point, we're going to have to get heating and snow removal uh, online for the uh, winter. But we don't need to deal with that just yet. Uh, okay, so that's going to be all for this time. And I think I'm going to actually stick with, uh, with uh, Soviet Republic for a little bit here. Uh, maybe I'll stick with uh, Soviet Republic all the way until we get, uh, until Yev gets uh, some updates to Austria about. But anyway, uh, so uh, so I guess that gives you a uh, a a new uh, new republic uh, startup uh, initial setup. Now that went so quickly because I've done this before and I knew that uh, this setup would basically work. Anyway, from here it's a little bit more uh, lay of the land type thing. Anyway, uh, that's all for this time. So stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, and see you back next time.